Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I'm answering a student question regarding the state of her Fit Muslin, um, where it is today. She sent me a series of front, back, and side view pictures. And what I noticed immediately was that the center back grain line was way too close to the center back seam up at the top near the waist. So let me show you what that looks like here. Okay, you can see from this picture that the vertical grain line is probably an inch, within an inch of her center back seam. Now, it's not necessarily wrong for the vertical grain line to be there, but what you wanna do is you wanna consider your shape when you're looking at the position of that grain line. So let's look at her side view now. You can see that she has a low flat butt and she doesn't have, you know, a big prominent curve that would be one of the things that would cause that grain line to be more angled in towards the center back. So looking at her figure, and then looking at where the grain line is, I think in the course of working on fitting this pattern, um, we basically threw the grain line off too far. So I have a back leg here in front of me. And what I want to do is I just want to show you um, what the vertical grain line is, how it should be positioned. And then I'm just going to show you a couple things that can cause it um, the top part of your grain line to shift towards the center back. And then after I do that, I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right, so the first thing is, if you need to scoop or change the shape of your back crotch curve, that can result in bringing that um, vertical grain line closer to the center back. So just by scooping, and I'm going to scoop here. So let's say we did this. So if I do something like this, you can see that that brings it closer. Let me just draw it in neatly so you can see. All right, so that's one way you can see the distance is getting closer. Another thing that can cause the the vertical grain line to get closer to that center back edge is if you're lengthening the back crotch through here. So if I were to open this up, you can see what's happening is it's pushing the top of the pattern this way and it's going to result in um, a grain line that's closer to center back. So let me go ahead and just fill this with paper for a second. All right, so you can see here, we lengthened the back crotch by slashing and tipping the pattern back about that much, okay? And the way you reestablish your grain line is by continuing the grain line below the adjustment up to the waist. So I'm gonna use my original grain line and I'm just gonna continue that Okay, and you can see now how much closer I've gotten. Those are a couple adjustments that you can make that would make the grain line sort of point more towards your center back. Um, because there's, there's, an, a re, there's a relationship between how much space you have versus how much negative space you have or the inside of your pant if you're trying to make that bigger to sit down in, in so it doesn't slide sometimes you can push that too far if you look at this back view picture again you can see that the back leg is not hanging right and that vertical grain line is really really close to that center back edge so if you're working with your pattern and you notice that that's happening to your pattern and you don't have a round prominent behind with a small waist, 
or a smaller waist. Um, that's one that's one example of a shape that would call for that grain line to be pointing towards your center back. All right, so if you're fairly straight, you don't have a lot of curves, you don't have a prominent behind, then your vertical grain line should be, you know, at least three or three or four inches from your center back. So if your pants aren't hanging right and your grain line is tipped like that, I'm just going to show you an easy way to fix it. So let me just get, um, okay, so I'm just going to trace a clean copy of this pants pattern so it's not a mess to look at. But I'm going to, I'm going to copy it with the new closer grain line to the center back edge. So let me just trace this with all the adjustments in it. Okay. All right, so you can see that, let me just cut this extra paper off. Okay. All right, so you can see that this is getting really close. And if I were to draw my half inch seam allowances in, you can see that it even gets a little bit closer um, because you, you lose a half an inch there. Okay, so to bring the grain line back to a better angle, what you're going to do is you're going to draw yourself a horizontal guideline right where the curve starts to happen on your on your back crotch and you're going to cut the pattern and you're actually going to overlap it there okay and what that's going to do is it's going to straighten out that grain line so basically now I'm gonna put a ruler here and I'm gonna keep tipping it until it, it gives me you know, a reasonable straight vertical green line here. So this is not a full scale pattern. So I'm almost three inches from the back edge. So I would say that this is good. Okay, so you can see now, instead of it being here, it's here. So I'm just gonna tape that into position. Okay, and you can see what's happened now is we have to fix or true up the crotch all right, so this is where the original crotch was. I'm gonna keep that line because that width was working. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to true that back up like this, okay? And then I'm gonna measure the amount that I overlapped. Okay, so here's my overlap. Okay, so this blue area is what I tipped down to straighten that out. So I am gonna measure how much that is right at the edge and that's an inch so what I'm gonna do up here so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just extend that another inch to make up for the fact that I took that off so basically I'm putting back the amount I got rid of up here so you can see this is an almost identical blue wedge here, okay? So I've straightened out the grain line by tipping this whole upper part of the leg back down a little bit, okay? I think that this will help improve how the back leg is hanging. The other thing I want to address here is in the student's muslin, let's look at the side view again. You can see that the horizontal balance lines are dipping down towards the back. That is an indication that the back leg has too much vertical length. And even though the crotch curve itself might be the right length, it's not in the right position. Okay, so if you imagine, you know, this curve um, here being the right being the right length because you can sit down and it doesn't slide. What we want to do is we want to lower that a little bit to pick up that fabric um, that's causing those horizontal 
balance lines to dip down. So the first thing I would do is I would pinch out across the center back to pick up the fabric until it's making those horizontal balance lines at the crotch level straight. Okay, and if you pinch that right above the full hip line, let's check the back view here, you can see that the back horizontal balance line is, is, is making a V at the center back, meaning that needs to get picked up as well. So if you pinch out your fabric right above this line on the muslin, you're basically going to pinch it out like this, you know, and, and it's going to go across the full back. So you're going to pinch it out at the center back. You're going to blend to zero at the side seam on both sides. Um, you know, pin that out, sew it, try it on, and see if you've straightened out those horizontal balance lines. If you have, and those are straight, but now you feel like you have a little bit of a wedgie, because you've picked up the curve, I'm going to show you how to fix that too. So first let's just mark this, and I'm going to use green for this. So let's say we had to pinch out, um, let's say we had to pinch out three quarters of an inch to get that to hang straight. So all of this right here is going to get pleated out of the pattern. And the way you do that is you're going to cut along one line create a pivot at the side seam, and then you're going to lower that to get rid of that fabric. Now, an exciting thing about this is, if your grain line is too far towards your center back, shortening your center back here is going to additionally straighten that grain line farther from the center back, because watch what happens now if I reestablish it. Okay, so see now that's looking really good. Okay, it's nice and straight. It's farther away from the center back. Okay, so that's the new position there. Um, but now if we have the situation where it's feeling like because we picked it up by getting rid of this, then what you can do is you can lower this section. And you can do it two ways. Um, the way that I have discovered is less invasive is I am going to draw a, from where it starts to curve, so somewhere about there, down to my inseam, I'm just going to draw myself a vertical line like this, okay? So instead of redrawing the scoop, I'm going to just slash that. and I'm gonna slide it down the amount that I need. So like, let's say um, it's here right now, right? Let's say I wanna lower it a half an inch. So I'm just gonna go like this, I'm gonna lower it. So it was here, now it's here. Okay, can you see that? I know this is getting really colorful now, but let me use a different color that's a little bit more noticeable. So the original position was here before I slid it, and now it's over here. So I've, I've lowered the crotch curve a half an inch. But the exciting thing about lowering it this way, I just want to show you what's happening at the bottom end of the adjustment here. I barely changed my inseam at all. Because if you look at what the change is here, you know, it's really not as big. It's almost half of what it was. So sliding the crotch wedge down allows you to lower the curve. And what that does is it's going to pick up that fabric um, and it's going to create more room for you to sit from taking it out up here. Okay, so it's a two-step process when you're looking at your side view and you see that things are pulling down in the back. First, pleat up at the 
up at the full hip to get rid of that fabric and then lower the crotch curve to make it comfortable again. And lowering the crotch curve also transfers that fabric up um, above the crotch level. Okay, so that's how I would fix what I see going on in the students' pictures. I think straightening the grain line, the vertical grain line, so it's not so close to center back, and then picking up the fabric that's too long, and then after you figure that out, then sliding this wedge, this whole green area, I'm gonna color it in. I know it's getting really messy here, but I just wanna make sure you see. This whole area right here, you slide that down and it restores the room for you to sit so you don't feel like you have a wedgie and it also picks the fabric up and transfers it up here. Those are the adjustments I would make to fix this pattern, um, this muslin that we're looking at today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I will help you. Um, I'm really, you know, I'm working with a few of my pants fitting students. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but if you take a class with me and you take a pants fitting class and you don't have a fit you're happy with by the end of the class, I will continue to help you going forward because I really feel like if you took a pants fitting class and you didn't get pants that fit, then we still need to figure that out. So um, that's where this project came from. Um, I'm going to be wrapping up my new jeans pattern on Friday and I'm actually adding some embroidery to it so I'm kind of excited. I really wanted to get my little poppy embroidery designs going so um, join me Friday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time live for Fab Fit Friday and I will show you some embroidery and I will show you I'm hoping what will be close to the finished um, pair of jeans that I'm working on so I can then finish the pattern and get that out for people who are interested in sewing it themselves. So that's my plan for the week. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching um, and have a lovely rest of your day.